Hey, get a load of this, folks. It says here, a constant menace to pilots are the gremlins who wreck planes with their diabolical sabotage. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> oh, murder. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> what a fairy tale. <laughs> Little man, oh brother! <laughs> um, uh, uh, what's all the hubbub? Bub. Blockbuster bombs don't go off unless you hit them just right. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, hey, Mac. Let me take a whack at it. Which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot. What's the matter, Bunny Rabbit? Speak to me. Why don't you say something? I'm only three and a half years old. I like him. He's silly.
endless reaches of the universe, there once existed a planet known as Krypton, a planet that burned like a green star in the distant heavens. There, civilization was far advanced, and it brought forth a race of supermen, whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. But there came a day when giant quakes threatened to destroy Krypton forever. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth, just as Krypton exploded. The rocket ship sped through star-studded space, landing safely on Earth with its precious burden, Krypton's sole survivor. A passing motorist found the uninjured child and took it to an orphanage. As the years went by and the grew to maturity, he found himself possessed of amazing physical powers. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. The infant of Krypton is now the man of steel. Superman! To best be in addition to use his amazing powers in a never-ending battle for true justice, Superman has assumed the skies of Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. Kent, I want to see you. Just received another threatening note. Okay, Mr. White. Lois, another note from the mad scientist. Coming in, Chief. Now listen to this warning. He plans to strike tonight. Beware, you fools. My electrothanasia ray strikes tonight at 12. Total destruction will come to those who laughed at me and failed to heed my warning. Beware, I strike at midnight. This nut may prove dangerous. Kent, you help Lois follow up her lead. She may have an angle on this thing. Yes, sir. But, Chief, I'd like the chance to crack the story on my own. No, no. Thanks, Chief. But, Lois... Chief, don't you think that's a dangerous mission?
the deadly impact of his mysterious ray smashed the famous Tower Bridge, hurling cars and pedestrians into the river below. The police have warned everyone to remain in their homes. This looks like a job for Superman. Congratulations, Lois. That was a great scoop. Yes, Chief. Thanks to Superman.
What's the rush? I'm not going to hurt you.
speeding bullets. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to soar higher than any plane. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. Disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Newspaper woman scares monkeys. Mm, Ace newspaper woman reviews circus. What an assignment. Yeah, too bad, Lois. Looks like a great night for a murder or fire or something. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Just find up with your cue, Lois. It's about to start. Only a few minutes before the performance begins.
Mickey Lord. Always gets her story. And luckily, she lives to write it. Thanks to Superman.
Thank you.